Good evening. As you already know, my name is Laura Hirschfield, and I'm the president of Purdue's Chemical Engineering Graduate School organization. If I've learned one thing as an engineering student, it's that engineers like to explain everything in terms of numbers. Distance, mass, velocity, time spent on a project, money spent on a project, money wasted on a project. The history of Purdue School of Chemical Engineering can be explained in numbers as well. 147,387, the square footage of Forney Hall, which is almost triple the size of the White House. 12 and 15, the rankings of Purdue's Chemical Engineering undergraduate and graduate programs, respectively, which beats out 140 other chemical engineering departments in the country. <laughs> 10,370, the number of alumni, which is more than the number of chemi chemical engineering alumni at MIT, Stanford, and Caltech. 29.3 million and counting, the amount of money spent on expanding and renovating Forney Hall. The new side of Forney Hall is the only academic building on campus to be funded entirely with alumni and corporate contributions. And of course, <laughs> and one more number we have is 100. The number of years that our department has been contributing to the world producing exceptional students in groundbreaking research. No matter how we break down the numbers, Purdue School of Chemical Engineering is incomparable. Year after year, we are highly ranked in terms of the number of students we graduate, the quality of our students that enter the job market, and our program's excellence. Our students excel in academics, research, industry, and service. Our faculty changes the world with their innovative research. Our alumni go on to do amazing things in a variety of industries and have helped to make Purdue one of the most recognizable and re respected schools for chemical engineering. I am so proud to be a part of this amazing department and can only imagine how we can continue to excel and grow in the next 100 years. So now I have the pleasure of introducing Leah Jamison, the John A. Edwardson Dean of Engineering. So let me sh share a few highlights. She is a member of the National Academy of Engineering. She serves on the NAE's Committee of on Engineering Education and was on the steering committee that published the NAE report, Changing the Conversation, Developing Effective Messages for Improving Public Understanding of Engineering. She continues to be a national and international voice on the importance of engineering education. She is the past president and CEO of the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers called IEEE, she was recently named an eminent member, the highest honor bestowed by IEEE's honorary Ada Kappa Nu. She also was elected to the American Academy of Arts and Sciences and was named a fellow of the ASEE, or American Society of Engineering Education. At Purdue, she has helped found and co-direct the award-winning Engineering Projects and Community Service, or EPICS, program. She is the Ransburg Distinguished Professor professor, excuse me, of electrical and computer engineering at Purdue and holds a courtesy appointment in the School of Engineering Education. As Dean of Purdue Engineering, she takes bold steps making a real difference. She believes in the power of innovation, not only to serve the goals of individuals, but also to benefit the university, community, and the world. She shares her success by leading others to build a vision of engineering where everyone is welcome to learn, contribute, and touch lives by creating solutions. So it is with great pride that we introduce Dr. Leah H. Jamison, the John A. Edwardson Dean of Engineering. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Miranda, and thank you, Laura. And later on, I'm going to come back and talk a little bit about the College of Engineering's strategic plan, which is called Extraordinary People, Global Impact. And I think that you will agree with me that the opportunity to hear from some of our students, um, extraordinary people, is a great descriptor. And so my congratulations to, to Miranda and to Laura. Thank you for being a part of Purdue Engineering and Purdue Chemical Engineering. My thanks to you. And let me add my 
absolutely enthusiastic welcome and congratulations to the School of Chemical Engineering on 100 truly remarkable years. Congratulations to you all. This is your celebration. I am honored and delighted to be here as a part of it. What a wonderful, wonderful accomplishment. So congratulations. A century of people in progress. And I'm certain that the visionaries who launched the school would be more than pleased at the immense contributions and accomplishments of the school, both of the people of chemical engineering and the progress of chemical engineering. And I can attest today that we are more than pleased and optimistic about the bright blue sky, blue ocean, groundbreaking opportunities and future ahead for the School of Chemical Engineering, built on a proud heritage and nurtured over this past century. From the first chemical engineering course, which was offered in 1902, to the formal founding of the school in 1911, and now to today, chemical engineering has been a key element of Purdue engineering. The school is one of many points of pride for the College of Engineering and for Purdue University overall. Let me tell you some of the reasons why. Chemical engineering at Purdue has been a leader in the discipline with six faculty who are members in the National Academy of Engineering. This is among the highest of any chemical engineering program in the country. Several faculty who are members of international academies of engineering in Australia, in India, and in Mexico. Faculty who are fellows of nine different professional organizations, including the American Institute of Chemical Engineers, the American Society for Engineering Education, the American Physical Society, the American Institute for Medi Medicine and Biological Engineering, the American Chemical Society, and the American Association for the Advancement of Science contributions in chemical engineering, but contributions that are recognized widely across many, many fields that touch on chemical engineering as well, speaking to the impact of the faculty in this wonderful school. Purdue Chemical Engineering is also consistently a top producer of bachelor's and PhD graduates. This tradition goes back to the 1920s and 30s, when Purdue, in fact, had the largest chemical engineering undergraduate program in the country. And according to a recent report of the American Chemical Society Committee on Professional Training, released in 2009, Purdue Chemical Engineering is second in the country in producing bachelor's degrees and fourth in the country in producing PhDs. We are having an impact not only in the quality of work, but also simply by being out there and influencing the industry, influencing academia in everything that the graduates of Purdue Chemical Engineering are doing. Students. First Chemie bachelor's graduate was in 1909. Benjamin M. Ferguson blazed a trail in the classroom and also left his Mark on the gridiron as a Boilermaker quarterback. We haven't seen that one recently, but maybe we should go back to that tradition. Maybe that's the key. And certainly, we heard from Miranda, who is serving on the Board of Trustees, and she's following another Chemi student pioneer. Russell Cox was actually the first ever student trustee on the Purdue Board of Trustees, and he served from 1979 to 1981. So the history goes back even farther than Tim. Hard to believe. The School of Chemical Engineering has been guided by tremendous leadership through the years from the first faculty member and head in 1911, Harry C. Pepper, who was the director of research at Alcoa in East St. Louis, to Arvind Varma, who is the 10th and current head of chemical engineering, and also as the R. Games Slater Distinguished Professor of Chemical Engineering, reflecting not only his leadership, but also his very distinguished career in, in research and, and as a faculty member. And my understanding is that Arvind is going to tell you something about some of the other leaders at the school, so I will not talk about them, but there are many, many people who have provided stellar leadership to chemical engineering. 
And Professor Varma and his colleagues are continuing to set the bar even higher, or in Purdue speak, one brick higher. I extend my thanks to Arvind and his wonderful team for organizing, for spearheading this wonderful centennial celebration from the industry, academic, and entrepreneurship lectures that have been held throughout this year and also this weekend, the poster session this afternoon, the sculpture dedication in the Henson Atrium, and certainly tonight's festivities to make this truly memorable centennial celebration. I'd like to take a few minutes and step back and think about and talk about what is Kemi's role in the College of Engineering? Um, because it has a major and significant role in the College of Engineering. The, as I mentioned, the strategic plan for the college is called Extraordinary People, Global Impact. And the both accomplishments and aspirations of the School of, of Chemical Engineering really speak to both of these, extraordinary people and global impact. We have a vision that is guiding us. It says we will be known for our impact on the world. I'll come back to that. From the vision, three broad goals that speak to the core of how we move forward. Graduates effective in a global context, a total commitment to the educational enterprise throughout the college and certainly in chemical engineering. Research of global significance and finally, empowering our people and enriching our culture, saying that everything we do stems from the people of the College of Engineering, the people of the School of Chemical Engineering. That is the source of our strength and the source of our achievements. To make the college strategic plan come to life, we've also written four stories. And what I'd like to do is just very briefly tell you, these are short stories. Um, tell you what those stories are called, what they mean, but also in each case, give you an example or two of how chemical engineering embodies what we are striving for when we think about the, both the accomplishments, the past of the College of Engineering, but also these hopes and aspirations for the future. So the first story, it's called Always at Purdue Engineering. And it talks about the human intellectual and information infrastructure that connects people to Purdue for life. It's a two-way lifeline, a unique umbilical cord, which ranges from young people, young children, getting their very first glimpse of engineering, to college students and the richness of the opportunities and experience we can provide to them, to all of you who have come back to help us celebrate, our alumni and alumni um, continuing to learn, to grow, to share your wisdom with the faculty and our future alums, the lifelong connection. And when I think about that in the, in the context of chemical engineering, I can't help but think about the truly remarkable connection that has come from this group of alums, so many of you who are here tonight, so many of you whose loyalty to chemical engineering says, I am going to come back and celebrate 100 years. I don't think any of you has been here for all 100, but you know, that's okay. Um, you know, you've given your time, your talent, your treasure to enhance our facilities, our resources, to help us provide the best chemical engineering education possible. And you've also shared your insights and your experiences through lectures and internships. Distinguished engineering alumnus, Dr. Robert Forney, who will address us later, and his wife, Marilyn Forney, both chemical engineering alums, embody this lifelong connection to Purdue and to chemical engineering. And so to Bob and to Marilyn, I thank you, and as representatives of all of the loyal alums, I thank all of you who are here tonight for all you've done to continue to make this an amazing School of Chemical Engineering. The second story 
of the college strategic plan is called Change the World at Purdue Engineering. And we talk about our research universe, and in particular, how we can empower and enable and support um, the ability of our researchers to bring solutions to the globe in new and important ways. And the timing could not be better, and there is absolutely no better way to talk about an exemplar for changing the world at Purdue Engineering than Rakesh Agrawal, the Winthrop E. Stone Distinguished Professor of Chemical Engineering, um, heads the list of faculty members who are, in fact, changing the world. I'm going to guess that by this time there is no one in the room who does not know that Rakesh was announced this past week that he will be receiving the National Medal of Technology and Innovation from Pre President Barack Obama. This is the highest technology honor bestowed by the President of the United States. Um, And I'm just going to say this to you, Rakesh, get used to it. We are really, really proud of you. And I think you're going to hear about this a few more times over the course of the coming year or two or three. Um, but you know, the reason, and, and I will also note that, that Rakesh is, in fact, the third Purdue faculty member to be so honored. And so this is, this is really a wonderful reflection on Rakesh, but also says something about how Purdue is doing. Why is this part of the change the world story? Where well, the research for which he is being honored talks about innovations in, in energy, the conversion of biomass to liquid fuels, low cost solar cells, energy systems analysis, work based on hydrogen. And if we think about challenges of world import, Rakesh is working in those areas. And so this has, his work has had impact on, the electron, on electronic device manufacturing, on liquefied gas production, on the supply of industrial grass, gases for diverse industries. Um, he is tackling the problems that shape how we live in this world. He holds, more, he holds 116 US and more than 500 foreign patents. What is probably more significant is that these patents are used in more than 100 chemical plants. He truly is changing the world. Our third story is called Innovate at Purdue Engineering. And I'm simply going to say that if you think about 116 patents and things used in more than 100 chemical plants, plants Innovate is also exemplified by the work that Rakesh is doing. And it challenges all of us to think about how we build an innovation ecosystem. How do we make innovation part of our core, part of our heart? And then how do we partner, in particular, to be able to leverage that research, to ground our research in real problems from real users, but then also through our partners to be able to amplify the work of our risk-taking and impact-making work. And the fourth and final story talks about our most precious resource. It's called Our People, Our Culture at Purdue Engineering. And through this, we are engaging our people to transform our culture, empowering our people to radiate passion, and we hope energizing the people of Purdue Engineering, in fact, to change the world. I'm going to tell three very brief examples of this because our people represent many different groups. And, and so I will talk with you about a student, a faculty member, and an alum who, in fact, are part of our people at Purdue Engineering. First, let me start with a student. This summer, a team of four students, which included Alvin Ang, a recent chemical engineering graduate, took first prize in a global entrepreneurial con contest among teams from 26 international universities. Purdue's team was called Rollout Green, won first place at the Hong Kong Polytechnic University with a business plan to provide a way to grow flower gardens in three simple steps, lay, cover, water. That simple, business plan won, I think even I can do this. 
Alvin also set a record for student competitions at, while he was at Purdue. He entered eight different entrepreneurship and research contests and placed first, second, or third in all but one of these. And he's now working as a process engineer at Bechtel Corporation. A faculty example. Professor Jim Carruthers is the Riley Professor of Chemical Engineering. Um, known for his work in polymers, polymerization reaction, developing cyber infrastructure to support chemical and material science. But he has taken on a new venture over the past few years. And he is leading Purdue's electric vehicle initiative. There are connections to batteries, to, to new innovations in batteries. But Jim has taken this far beyond the research routes into either polymers or batteries. It's an innovative partnership. It's funded with six, over $6 million in federal stimulus funds and, and a growing um, amount of industry support, brings together several universities in Indiana um, and also faculty, industry, and corporate partners. And as part of this program, Jim and his team developed the nation's first electric vehicle Grand Prix in 2010. It was designed to inspire students to develop innovative technologies, seek careers in electric vehicles. Second race was held this year, not on the Purdue campus, but in fact at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. So this is a pretty good growth path. A new tradition's off and running. And hasn't stopped there. Jim and his team are also inspiring the next generation of engineers by sharing electric vehicle technology and an interest in the environment and thinking about the environment with young people through a large-scale partnership with 4-H, our people, our culture at Purdue Engineering. And finally, let me just say a few words about Purdue alumna, Deb Gruby, BS Chemical Engineering, 1977, received an honorary doctorate from the College of Engineering in 2010, was recognizing her outstanding leadership and technical accomplishments within the world's major oil and chemical companies, commitment to promoting excellence and diversity, and a passion for global safety, absolute leadership in safety as it relates to exploration and production, refining, marketing across sectors of gas, solar, and renewable energy. Deb has distinguished herself as an alumni leader, not only in her technical fields, but in her service to Purdue in how this two-way lifeline um, coming back and sharing with us all that she has learned in the world. Um, as a member of the Chemical Engineering Industrial Advisory Council, she is a member of the Engineering Advisory Council, deeply involved with the Society of Women Engineers, success, involved with the successful Chemical Engineering Capital Campaign Committee. With Chemie faculty, she has helped develop an undergraduate elective course in chemical processing safety that will be debuting this coming spring. And most recently, she was back on campus only a couple weeks ago as the kickoff speaker for a workshop that was co-organized by the College of Engineering and the new College of Health and Human Sciences on prevention through design. Students, faculty, alumni, staff, our people, our culture, and a truly amazing group of people. And this is, in fact, what makes us strong. Purdue Chemical Engineering is playing a starring role in each of the four stories in our strategic plan. And together, we will be known for our impact on the world. We recognize and appreciate the significant contributions of the School of Chemical Engineering, its accomplished faculty, its dedicated staff, its bright students, its loyal, alums, the core of our heritage, and the foundation of ongoing support. I extend my sincere congratulations to all of you. What an amazing opportunity to celebrate this centennial. Chemical engineering truly is the source of many, many people who are extraordinary people having global impact. And I look forward to all of you continuing this journey into the next century of people in progress. My congratulations and thank you.